Hello everybody, today is Friday the 16th of May, and as I'm sure you're all aware by now, my name is Goose. The new issue of Amazing Spider-Man is out. Ah, I'm so excited! It looks awesome. I want to read it now, but I'm not going to read it now, because I'm here to talk to you about something else other than comics. Firstly, I'd like to apologise for no video last week. Unfortunately, I was lying on the couch eating chicken soup whilst watching Heroes on DVD, because I wasn't feeling too well, and I was just recuperating the entire time. So I lost my voice. Had a bit of a cold and everything, so I thought I won't do a video because it won't be pretty. As a little side note, I'm sure you can see behind me, my study is starting to fill up quite nicely. I'm still getting the lighting uh, a bit sorted, it looks a bit dark on this side of my face. But that'll get sorted. So over the coming weeks, I'm going to be trying to do two videos a week. One is going to be my normal Goose Perception video of whatever strikes me that day. The second one is going to be to do with Goose's bucket list, which is an idea that my other half had. Um, of all the things you'd want to do before you basically kick the bucket, if you're unfamiliar with what a bucket list is. Um, now, on YouTube you can make a playlist of various different videos that all link together, so this is going to be trying to do this under a playlist, so you have to bear with me while I get that sorted, but that's the general idea. Two videos a week, one normal one, and one bucket list. So the first thing is going to be five different places that I would like to visit before I kick said bucket. Now there are a few different places that you can go all over the world obviously, now I've been to quite a few places so if they don't automatically pop up and you think they should be in there, um, odds are I may have possibly been there, um, but this is just my list, this is just five things or places where I'd like to go. Um, so in the description below if you'd like to leave where you would like to go uh, and just let me know and why you'd want to go, that'd be fantastic and then I can actually, I'll make a video and I'll respond to lots of your questions as well. The first place I'd like to go is Dubai. This houses the world's tallest building. It also has, due to the floors, the world's most amount of floors in a building. It also has the world's highest restaurant and the world's highest nightclub. So I'd like to go and see that. That would be quite cool. Um, there is also some fancy sort of palm tree island thing um, that is man-made. So they've made that and that's actually visible from space. So I'd like to go there as well just to see what it's all about. So the second place is going to be the Great Wall of China. Now obviously, I'm assuming you know what the Great Wall of China is. There's a massive wall that goes through China. It, it's currently, I think they estimated to be 6,000 kilometres long. Now I'd like to, I don't think you're going to walk it all, to be honest, 6,000 kilometres is quite a distance. But that's just the standing bit, so there is extra wall, uh, which is just sort of rubbles and you know bits and pieces where it used to be, so the wall is actually much longer. Uh, but that is definitely somewhere I'd like to go, and just spend time in China in general. I mean, if you look at all the sort of nice Chinese architecture, and all the peace and tranquility and the Japanese lilies and that's Japan. Oh. Number three is the Grand Canyon. It's covering an area of 277 miles and at most places about a mile deep. That would be quite a sight to see I would think. And they also have a river going through it so you can obviously do kayaking uh, and white water rafting and all that sort of stuff which I think would be quite a good adventure holiday. Obviously you've got Route 66 which I quite like to do in America as well. Um, but this is obviously places to go and Route 66 kind of covers pretty much all of the USA. So I'm gonna leave that for another video. But yeah, Grand Canyon, I think it will be pretty cool. Number two will be the Great Barrier Reef. This can also be seen from space and is one of the seven natural wonders of the world. Now I'm a big fan of uh, snorkeling and you know scuba diving when you go on holiday because I love seeing the fish and animals and I'd love to go in a shark cage one day, that would be awesome. Uh, but just to go to Great Barrier Reef because it obviously it's so blue and there's fish and everything you could possibly imagine. I've got a nice little list. I've actually had to bring up my laptop here. Um, so there's like a, a list of things that are in obviously Great Barrier Reef. So you have to bear with me here because there's quite a few. Uh, so 30 species of whales, dolphins and porpoises, 6 species of sea turtles, 215 species of birds, which I'm assuming come and go when they please, uh, 17 species of sea snake, 1,500 fish species, 10% of the world's total fish species can be found just within the Great Barrier Reef, and there are at least 330 species of ascidians on the reef system. I don't even know what an ascidian is, but I'm going to look that up later. And number one of my places to go before I die obviously wouldn't be me if there wasn't something nerdy involved. So, where I would like to go is to New Zealand. So, in New Zealand, they have created a Hobbiton pub near Matama, which is called the Green Dragon, which, if you're familiar with the Lord of the Rings trilogy, is the pub that is in Hobbiton uh, that they make in the film. So it's actually a working pub. They actually sell everything and you can go in there and have drinks and meals and stuff and I think that would be awesome. So guys, please like, comment, share and subscribe. It's very much appreciated. All the details are below. If you want to follow me on Twitter and Instagram, I will also be sorting out a Facebook page for you to follow if you so wish. Uh, there is also a gentleman down in the description box called Transcore Van who's recently hit 100 subscribers. So congratulations to him. Uh, obviously go check him out. He's done some great videos. Uh, he's well worth watching, he does a few different gaming things, and he does, he does what's called the Not So Daily Vlog, so basically he tries to vlog every single day. He's currently on a 
caffeine deprived moment at the moment so you will have to bear with him but he's extremely funny it's well worth going to check him out until then you've been watching goose perception thank you very much for joining me please don't forget to tip your waitresses i'm going to go and read this because i